Welcome to the Chamber Exchange, sponsored by Bank Hometown. My name is Virginia Murphy. I will be your guest host, filling in for Timothy Murray. And we're going to start off our show with Emily McCann. She is the director of the Worcester, of Worcester Women's Initiative at the United Way of Central Mass. And joined with her is Ms. Sherry Pitcher. She is the Chief Life Design Officer at Fidelity Bank. And we're going to start with Emily. Emily, tell our um, viewers at home a little bit about the Women's Initiative. Thanks, Virginia. Thanks for having us on today. The Women's Initiative is a group of the United Way of Central Massachusetts. It's actually been in existence for over 18 years now. We support women's leadership and philanthropy to improve and empower the lives of girls ages 10 to 14 in Central Massachusetts. We're a volunteer-driven group which engages members and donors, both women and men, to support quality programming for hundreds of middle school girls each year through mentoring, educational opportunities, and financial literacy. We do this through partnerships with local agencies right here in Central Mass to fund gender-specific programs. And the Women's Initiative also runs the only girl-focused financial literacy program in Central Mass called Dollar Scholars. That program engages local professional women as mentors to teach middle school girls the importance of budgeting, credit, saving, to help them plan for their futures. And we're really proud this program has supported over 4,000 adolescent girls since it was started and 1,200 women mentors have participated over the years. In fact, Women's Initiative, since we were established, has raised nearly $6 million in donations and supported collectively in all the programs we funded over 14,000 girls right here in our community. That's awesome. Congratulations to you. Hats off. Um, and like so many businesses, um, COVID affected um, everybody. And how did it affect the Women's Initiative? Absolutely. Your COVID-19 pandemic, and I would add the 2020 and now into the 2021 year, has been hard on all of us and especially hard on youth, particularly those in vulnerable communities. Girls are struggling with isolation, low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, They've experienced or witnessed an increase in violence, systemic racism, economic pressures on families that were already fragile. Um, throughout the pandemic, the Women's Initiative has continued to partner with our local agency partners to fund those gender specific programs that support girls, both virtually and in person. In addition, um, Women's Initiative launched this year a virtual component of the Dollar Scholar Program which has already engaged over 225 middle school girls in virtual financial literacy lessons with, we've had over 50 women participate as mentors so far. The program is still ongoing and will continue through the pandemic and beyond. And you know, while it's been a challenging time, the Women's Initiative remains really strong due to support from its members, donors, and volunteers. Wonderful. And here to speak about an event that you'll be hosting is Sherry Pitcher. She is the Women's Initiative Power of the Purse event chair. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you, Virginia. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. So tell us a little bit about this event. So this is our um, fourth annual Power of the Purse event. Um, and we invite um, and really anyone to come. Um, mostly it's our Women's Initiative um, supporters. And it is a silent and live auction of um, designer purses, bags, wallets, um, tote bags, travel bags, um, and all of the proceeds go to support um, women's leadership and the girls program that Emily um, had talked about. I, I can't believe this is our fourth um, event. Um, and it's going to be on Tuesday, June 8th, um, from 5 to 7 p.m. And we're doing it um, in a hybrid format. So things are starting to open up. Um, we're going to have a virtual option, but we're also going to have um, an in-person event at the AC Marriott. Um, so there's something really for everyone at this auction. We have a full, you know, we, we always get, um, and all our bags come through, uh, through donations. Um, we get um, like briefcases, totes, wallets, like I said, handbags, shoulder bags, you know, crossbodies, whatever kind of bag you want. There's really something from everyone. And I would say most of our bags are designer bags, names everyone will recognize, Tori Birch, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, um, just a really, really fun, fun um, selection of bags. And we, what we typically do um, and what we're really excited about doing again this year um, is 
uh, with one of our travel bags, we're going to include um, a travel package. So like an overnight bag um, with timeshare points to a Holiday Inn um, Club Resort. And that does include um, some local locations. If people still you know, are comfor- comfortable traveling, we get that. Um, and we're also going to have like a Worcester package with gift cards to local restaurants and businesses. And we really try to support uh, women-owned businesses um, with this at this event and a sports package Ooh. that's going to include tickets to the Worcester Red Sox um, and a, a food and wine package from our friends over at Ed Heider's Mediterranean Marketplace. So um, it's really going to be, it's and it has been um, a fun event. And it's all, again, to support the, um, the programming that we do through Women's Initiative. Yeah, it is a fun event. I remember going to the Mercantile a few years back before COVID. I think that was the first one that I went to, but it is an awesome event. And Emily, I know, has some bags behind her if she wants to showcase some of the items that you might see on June 8th. I do. I just brought a couple with me. We have, we're going to have probably over 50, maybe 60 bags and packages in the auction, but there are so many fun colors. I'm calling this the summer of fun. I think we all are ready to be back out there and and doing something, whether it's at the beach or maybe it's a small trip, but there's some real fun, colorful, this is a Tory Burch colorful um, tote bag. Um, That's just absolutely awesome, can fit so many things. And this MCM um, tote bag as well is one of our highlights um, and comes with a little um, a, a little side purse, a little side bag to go with it. So that's just a little sampling, a little sneak peek of the auction, but we're really excited about all the donations we received and we appreciate everyone who's done that. And it's going to be, as Sherry said, a really fun time to be partly back together again. Yeah. Um, Sherry, is it a silent auction? I remember um, you get, you're going to get a number on your phone. Is that, that kind of how it works? Yep. We, it's a silent auction. Um, so we do have an app and all the bags are uploaded on the app. So people can, either, whether they're attending the event in person at the AC Marriott or joining us um, virtually online, they can still participate um, in, in the silent auction. Um, we, we do have a live component too, um, which, is, which is really fun. And that's where we're going to do some of those packages. And do you, have any, do you have any sponsors of this event, Sherry? Yeah, we, we have um, a lot of sponsors. Emily, do you have the list of sponsors, Gandhi? Um, I'd love to name some yeah. of them. Absolutely. We have an awesome turnout of sponsors this year. You know, again, I think everybody is just really excited to be back together. Um, we're thrilled to have AbbVie as our signature sponsor, Anna Maria College and Reliant Medical Group as lead sponsors, and We have many long-term and new WI supporters, long-term ones being UMass Memorial Healthcare, Country Bank, Fallon Health, and of course, thank you, Sherry Pitcher, Fidelity Bank, to name a few. Um, And I have to call out our marketing sponsor, the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. We're so grateful for your support as well. Happy to help, happy to help. I'm gonna give Sherry the last word. How can people register for this event, Sherry? Um, so to learn more about the event, there's a couple different ways. Um, you can go to our Facebook page, which is at WOM Initiative CM, or of course, go to the um, United Way Central Mass um, website, www.unitedwaycm.org slash women's dash initiative. Um, go to the events page there and registration um, is open to everyone. We, we welcome everyone to come again, whether you want to join us at the AC Marriott or um, with um at virtually, um, we'd, we'd love to see you. Um, it is free to attend, but there was a suggested donation of $50. And if you donate $100, you can become a Women's Initiative um, member. And any um, one that registers before, on or before June 4th is gonna be entered into um, a door prize drawing. So, um, and we're also gonna have the option when you, when you go to register to purchase um, a food and wine box from Ed Heider's uh, Mediterranean Marketplace for $25. And you'll be able to pick those up either the day before or the day of the event. So that's a great way for someone um, who's not able to join us at the AC to have um, some food and, and um, drinks and join us for the festive uh, fun night. Well, thank you, ladies. Um, I want to thank Emily McCann, the Director of Women's Initiative of United Way, and Ms. Sherry Pitcher, Chief Life Design Officer of Fidelity Bank, for joining us in our first segment. And um, I hope a lot of people show up on June 8th. And for the folks who are staying with us, um, we will see you on the other side of the spring. 
These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential. Worcester, a city with heart, history, and promise. A hub of innovation in life sciences, education, and healthcare. Home to multi-generational families, first-generation citizens, and next-generation baseball and hockey greats. Home to great parks, world-class museums, theaters, and restaurants. Worcester, the place to visit, to invest, and to call home.